What's up guys? So I have some pretty exciting news regarding my YouTube channel, but more so I'm very excited as we speak right now because yes, again, you read the title of this video and this video does say Google ex Google Fiber tested, but I'm not actually testing Google Fiber in this video. Like for instance, I'm not actually going to show you numbers on a computer about how much upload and download speeds I'm currently getting at my place. I just wanted to say that for the first time, I do have Google Fiber because the craziest thing just happened. Pretty much I was sleeping this morning and when I woke up, I got a message in my inbox that said, congratulations, Google Fiber is coming to your town. Would you like to be one of the participants to actually test Google Fiber? So yes, I am in the process of testing Google Fiber Internet and I'm very excited about this. Now the test that I get to do is pretty much a weak test of Google Fiber to see if I'm going to like it, dislike it, what are my thoughts and my opinions. I guess Google really wants my opinions and my thoughts about it. I'm guessing after the uh, the test is up, I'm going to have to do a slight survey of whether I liked it, what was my experience and things like that. And I'm going to see if I actually like Google Fiber and I'm going to make the decision should I keep Google Fiber? Should I not keep Google Fiber? Honestly, it's just going to depend on a lot of different scenarios, whether it's for me or not for me. But yeah, as we speak right now, as of the recording of this video, I am currently using Google Fiber. And honestly, I never thought in 1 million years Google would ever come to my town and actually say, yes, we're going to be providing Google Fiber. So as we speak, I am using Google Fiber at the very moment. And yes, if you don't know anything about Google Fiber, the reason it's called Google Google Fiber because it's supposed to be fiber optic and it's supposed to be some of the fastest speeds at least you can get in America when it comes to the internet. Of course, the US is not the fastest place when it comes to uh, uh, internet speeds as a whole. There's actually faster uh, countries that do actually provide faster internet than the US, believe it or not, which is you may or may not believe, but that is a thing. Now, right now, I am actually testing different speeds when it comes to Google Fiber and things like that. The recommended and promised speed from Google Fiber is supposed to be one terabyte, and since it's supposed to be one terabyte or one gig, sorry, not one terabyte, disregard what I just said. I did not mean to say one terabyte. I know some of you out there who are tech enthusiasts and know about this stuff are going to call me crazy. And yes, again, I did not mean to say one TB. That would be absolutely insane. And videos and everything on the internet should load in literally like zero seconds. So that's impossible. I meant to say one gig one gigabyte and yes you are supposed to be getting one gigabyte of speed when you get google fiber and that's what i've been testing i've been doing a lot of different tests on the internet i've been playing with the internet i've been trying to load stuff i've actually been doing speed tests on the internet and so far from all my tests i've been doing on the internet i've actually been doing tests with uh, different websites like speedtest.net and other ones on the internet who do provide speed tests and so far i've actually been getting close to one uh one gig speeds, but I have not yet to actually hit one gig speeds. Of course, they do claim it'll go up to one gig of speeds, but of course, you do have to take a whole bunch of different things into consideration when it comes to the speed of your internet, depending on what type of day you're on the internet, depending on how cloggy the internet is, depending on how far the servers is you're trying to access depending on when you do the speed test. Just a lot of different things you have to take into consideration and calculate when you're doing these speed tests. So you can't say, well, Google lied to you because, well, anything can go and you know you know speeds are going to dip. If it dipped too, too bad, of course, I would be pretty pissed. But so far, my speeds have been fairly good and very fast. I've been getting 800 megabytes to about 950 uh, megabytes down when it comes to my download speed. And then for my upload speeds, I've been getting some pre pretty crazy upload speeds. I've been getting anywhere from 40 to 45 megabytes down. I would say for a lot of people, that's super, super fast. So that's absolutely crazy that I'm getting those speeds when it comes to uh, Google Fiber. Now, I must admit, numbers don't really tell the whole story when it comes to the internet and how things are going to load and how fast things are going to move. It all depends on your experience. So the best way to actually try these services out is not to do all these speed tests, to actually put this stuff into gear and actually try these things for yourself. And so far, I've actually been trying these things for myself. And so far, web pages have loaded extremely fast. 4K videos have loaded in pretty much a blink of an eye. Everything has been flat out amazing when it comes to uh, uh, Google Fiber. I will have to admit this is my first time ever using close to one gigabyte speeds when it comes to the internet and all I can say is it's not going to be perfect and no matter how fast the internet is, I don't know if we'll ever get to a time where things will load instantane in 
will load pretty much at a blink of an eye. I don't think we'll ever be uh, to that point. And if we will get to that point, I still think it's going to take a very long time because you do have to remember there's millions, if not thousands of people using the internet every day. There's so many people on the internet, a lot of different Wi-Fi scenarios you do have to remember all these tests that i've been doing personally have not been wire tests so i have not been on internet i've been on wi-fi specifically and i do have a, a router that will support these speeds so take all that into consideration when you think about all these different scenarios that could clog down the speeds and whatnot but so far my uh, tests have been pretty successful and most things i've been doing on the internet have been downloading stuff not really uploading stuff so this is going to be one of my first few videos where i actually upload this to youtube using the fur using my my brand new Google Fiber when I'm actually testing this. Like I said, I do get a week to actually test uh, Google Fiber, so I'm very excited to see about that. Now, when it comes to actually downloading stuff other than web pages, watching videos, the normal stuff you would do on the internet, of course, those things are typically going to be fast anyway because you don't have a lot to access, and of course, they should load pretty much in a blink of an eye with close to one gigabyte of speed. So I did do other tests, of course, like for instance, right now, I think on my smartphone, I went to the Google Play Store and downloaded, I think, Asphalt 9, a game that's about around 1 gig or 1.5 gig. I've been trying to find some super big files to actually download, to actually test it. And so far, I've been super impressed with downloading stuff on the internet. Again, it's not going to be uh, at a blink of an eye, so it's not going to download uh, right away, but it did download super fast, maybe in about 10 to 15 seconds. The whole file was pretty much downloaded, and that was way faster than it did before. Not that it was slow before, but this is definitely a big step up from the internet I definitely had before when it comes to my internet specifically. So overall, so far, the first day and the first few hours of using Google Fiber are definitely a two thumbs up in my book. I'm going to keep running tests and see if I can actually ever hit the one uh, gig speeds that Google does promise when it comes to Google Fiber. Again, I'm not quite too sure if I'll ever hit those, but again, as long as I hit around 800 to maybe 900 and some megabytes down, I'll be super satisfied and super happy because that's pretty much almost the claim speed that Google does claim Google Fiber can actually hit. Now, when it comes to the upload, I'm very excited to see how fast this YouTube video is going to upload and different things like that when it comes to uploading things uh, to the internet because that's a pretty big improvement from what I had before too. So I'm very excited to see how fast things will load, how fast things will move on the internet. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a heads up of me trying Google Fiber uh, for the first time. Anyway, guys, this is Wayne from My Tech News signing out.